certainly the Prime Minister indicating that when people see their family members that, and friends getting it and when they see those numbers go up, once it gets to sort of upwards of 10 million, people might start to think, well, look, these are minuscule numbers, the, the cases where there are mishaps versus millions and millions that have had it without any hiccups. Do you think that that in itself has an inherent momentum? Yeah, it does. I think that that um, gives it all a big push along. You know, if you're, you're watching your friends, your neighbours, your relatives, uh, and they're all having it and having no uh, side effects at all, just carrying on with their lives, uh, it's very hard to, to, to keep harbouring thoughts of doom and gloom uh, if, you, if you have the vaccine. So I think uh, everything points to uh, the numbers taking it going up. And further to that, you've got the EU saying to Americans, if you've been vaccinated, feel free to come and visit. So once the world starts to reopen in a, a you know, a post-COVID way, not just with these bubbles like we have across the ditch, that's obviously got to affect people's thinking as well to say, look, if we're ever going to reopen to the rest of the world, we also have to get that level of immunity. We do. Uh, and, and we do have to open up again to the rest of the world. You can't isolate yourself. We're isolated enough down here at the bottom end of nowhere. So we, uh, we need yeah. to, to make sure that, um, uh, that we're as open as we possibly can be. I'm surprised by this Victorian payroll surcharge, this uh, $3 billion tax richo by the, uh, the Andrews government on big business, those that pay more than $10 million a year in wages. Is this the right time to be, to be hitting a payroll tax surcharge? Well, is there ever a right time? Um, and the answer to that's probably no, if what your concern is, is jobs alone. Um, because it, it is a job killer. I don't think you can describe it any other way. Um, and so, uh, you know, if you, if you take this step, uh, you are assuming that unemployment will rise. Um, that is uh, as a result of what you're doing. So you've got to hope that the rest of the economy is going to more than take up the slack. And I guess that's the calculation that Tim Pallas has made in Victoria. You look at all the reactions to Josh Frydenberg's budget, economists saying things are still fragile. We've got this V-shaped recovery, but it is a, it is a recovery. So to whack a tax on as particularly in Victoria of all states, which was hardest hit during the pandemic, it, it is quite... Well, it's quite jarring. It's certainly tough. There's no doubt about that. Um, it's, it's taking a pretty solid line. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if I'd take it. Um, maybe I just don't have Palace's courage. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's a very, very difficult situation. What do you do when you've got an economy that's as that's really slack uh, and not providing government with the kind of revenues they need to maintain the programs that we all expect them to maintain. Uh, if, if they can't get more money, what do they do? And the answer has always been and always will be another tax. Richo, thanks. Talk to you soon. Go on, you mate.